Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this video, we are going to understand why our bank says credited when we receive the money in our account and debited when the money goes out of our account. Yeah, what is the reasoning behind this? I'm sure you must have seen these two terms in the bank messages or in the banking app, right? Let's just say, for example, you have deposited 15,000 in your bank. What happens? You get a message from your bank saying that, see, your account has been credited with 15,000 rupees. Credited, yeah? Let's just say, for example, you have, you know, did some online shopping on Amazon, then you will get a message from your bank saying that your account has been debited with 1,292 rupees, right? On so-and-so date and, you know, the transaction number, everything will be there, right? So what is the reasoning behind this? Why the bank is using these terms, credited and debited in this way? when you studied the accounting yeah as a newbie for example let's just say you are just a you know a beginner in accounting field so you must have studied that whenever money comes in you have to debit whenever money goes out you have to credit yeah i'm sure you must have you know learned this golden rules of debit and credit if you have learned the modern rules of debit and credit then bank account is an asset account which has a debit balance so whenever it increases we debit whenever it decreases we credit right so why does the bank says here credited means increase and debited means decrease why opposite let's understand that let's understand the logical reasoning over here and let me just show you the screenshot also see here see this screenshot what's happening over here these are the charges yeah these are the charges charged by the bank okay and beside the amount if you can see 23.60 and then there is dr what is that debited 23.60 has been debited from your account which means according to the bank balance has been decreased and see here the last transaction over here 1000 has been credited see beside the amount there is CR CR means credit it's a short form right so it means the balance has been increased by 1000 okay so let's understand now the logical reasoning behind this it's really simple let's just say for example let's take this example let's just say for example you know you have deposited 50,000 in your bank, okay? So what's happening in this transaction? Understand first from your point of view and then we'll move on with the bank. From your point of view, cash has been decreased and bank balance has increased, okay? So of course you will credit the cash account, you will credit the cash account, but the bank account, your bank account, from your point of view is an asset. Why it's an asset? Because you have control over it, and there is future economic benefit from it. You can do whatever you want with that cash and, you know, generate income with that. You can invest it or whatever, right? So that's why it's an asset. And you know that asset has debit balance. Whenever asset increases, you have to debit that. And whenever asset decreases, you must have sold the asset or used up the asset because of depreciation, it decreases. Yeah. So at that time, you will have to credit that, isn't it? Yeah, this is the rule debit balance means plus means debit and minus means credit this is what you do in your books in your accounting books from your point of view you will debit the bank account you will debit the bank accounts let me just show you see here the transaction will be like this 50,000 deposited in bank bank account debit 50,000 to cash account credit 50,000 okay is that clear why because bank account is an asset account it has debit balance it has been increased so you have to debit it okay but if you see from the bank's point of view understand this 50,000 money is not of the bank it's your money you are the owner so for bank that money is what for bank that money is liability yeah because bank has when you deposited the money with the bank bank immediately has a present obligation to return that money back to you whenever you demand it right maybe you will withdraw from the atm or maybe you will instruct the bank to pay to someone else right so that is why it's their liability it's not their money they are just the holder of it for the time period yeah for the uh, small time period right so see here because bank has a present obligation to transfer this economic resource back to its owner whenever the owner asks or gives some instructions so if it's a liability then liability has credit balance if it has credit balance, then whenever bank balance, 
this 50,000, this bank balance will increase, the bank will have to credit. And whenever it will decrease, bank will have to debit. It's opposite. Why it's opposite? Because from the bank point of view, from bank's point of view, this 50,000 is not an asset, it's a liability. If it's a liability, then see here, then see here, the rules are opposite. See, asset has debit balance, liability has credit balance. Okay, that is why, that is why, whenever the money increases in your account, the bank says what? The bank says credited. And whenever the money decreases, the bank says debited. Is that clear? Is that clear? That's the reason, fine? But in your accounting, yeah, from your point of view, it's an asset. So what you have to do, whenever it increases, you have to debit, bank account debit. Let's just say, for example, you have withdrawn 10,000 from the bank. Then what will happen? 10,000 withdrawn from the bank. So bank account has to be credited to bank account. Okay, cash account will be debited because cash in hand has increased, but the bank balance has de decreased. So you will have to credit the bank account. Is that clear? So that is the logic and reasoning behind why, why does the bank says credited when you receive the money in your account and debited when the money goes out of your account. Is that clear? Really simple and straightforward. It's just about the point of view. From your point of view, it's an asset, but the same money for the other party, for the bank is liability. Is that clear? I hope you have got clarity in this. It's really simple and straightforward.